Hello, it's Miss December 64, and I'm shooting this quick video while I'm driving into town today. But this video I want to talk about um, having clients respect your schedule. So this pertains to no-shows and to people who are chronically late. So let's say you have a client booked at 3 o'clock and they have a history of just not coming on time. At some point, you have to draw the line to where you just cannot accept this client. And I'm talking even if you don't have another client waiting or coming, you just have to get a grip on your schedule and getting these clients to respect your schedule. So if you have a client that's booked at 3 o'clock and they come lollygagging in at 3.30, 3.35, that's disrespectful. Especially when they didn't call, text, or something to let you know that there's an issue with them showing up at their scheduled time. Now it could be a very good client of yours. Someone who's very loyal, always there for their appointments. A loyal client, you would have to give them the benefit of the doubt because there is something seriously not right if they're not showing up for their appointment, which they are normally on time for. You may want to give them a call or if they don't give you a call, they may show up and just say, you know, I was running late. I'm sorry because I, I couldn't call you or I tried to call you or is it okay if I still get my hair done? Right then, that's a judgment call. And if it's a loyal client, I would probably accept them. They may have to wait and be worked in at this point. It just depends on how you schedule your clients. But normally they understand and this is acceptable. Now, this is a client that has a history of being late, no shows and she might come, she might not come, he may come, he may not come, whatever the case may be. You have to set boundaries and parameters. And what I do at the salon is I give them a 15 minute window. So at 316 and they're not there, so when they lollygag in at 325, you have to reschedule. It's just that simple because once you start letting them do or come as they please, They'll never respect your schedule. You'll find yourself working long, tiresome hours in the salon. Your day will be hectic. Your book is always going to be hectic and unorganized and out of order. And you have angry clients staring upside your head while you're trying to get, you know, people in and out of your chair. It, it, it just is not worth the stress level. I'm telling you, been there and done that. It's not worth it. I suggest setting parameters and then using a call of judgment when it's your, your loyal clients. Now, for clients who are, have a history of no-shows, and especially, not limited to, but especially if you have an online appointment book. Now, I use Style Seat, and in Style Seat, you can um, set it to where they have to use a, a credit or debit card to in order to book an appointment with you so therefore if they don't show it'll take it'll give a little fee to, to you off their card just so you have something however sometimes it, it people are apprehensive to even book with you when they see that so what i do is i just keep note excuse me i keep note of who hasn't shown up for their appointment and when they do make an appointment i kindly go on my online appointment book and cancel it However, in my online appointment book, in the bio or where you, in your profile, it clearly states any uncanceled appointment will be canceled at my discretion. No two ways about it. Um, it works. I've had two people in probably six months. I had to go in and cancel because they made appointments and they didn't show up. And then they made another appointment. And I'm not taking you at this point. I'm just not going to do it. You have to respect me. I mean, this is my livelihood. And a lot of clients get it in their heads that if they're not coming to you, then you're missing out on something. No, sweetie, because Ms. Sheila teaches how to take four clients and turn them into seven to ten clients. So, therefore, we haven't missed out on anything. So, when you don't show, I get to go home early and enjoy my life. So, I suggest everyone to just kind of take notes from any of that if it's helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please comment. It may take me a little bit to comment back back to you or to reply or res respond to you. But if you go into my Facebook page, which you can find it um, here on YouTube or my YouTube homepage, you can find the link to my Facebook page. Now, if you message me there, I can get right back to you. 
So again, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, comment, what have you. Everybody have a blessed and prosperous day.